Good evening, everyone. After a three and one road trip, the enemy Wildcats return home this week to play the number nine ranked Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Wildcats are off to a three and one start. They swept the season opening series against Wisconsin and Green Bay and then split last weekend series against Nebraska Omaha. But now they welcome home the Fighting Irish this week in Michigan next week. Notre Dame has one of the best defenses in the country and NMU knows this will be a tough game in front of their home crowd. Well, the next two teams we're playing here at home, both Notre Dame and Michigan, you know, are able to recruit some of the top athletes in the country. They're, they have some real special players. They are always big. They're always strong and physical. Notre Dame will play us real hard in our own, on our own end. We're going to have to at times have a bend and no break mentality, but, uh, uh, but we're anxious to play them and we're looking forward to the challenge. Game time for Friday and Saturday is set for 7.35 in the Barry Events Center. And the Michigan Tech Huskies recently split their home series with the number one ranked Minnesota Gophers this past weekend. And now they pack their bags and travel to Denver to take on the Pioneers who ranked fifth in the nation. Denver has converted on four of six power plays this season. And this weekend should be a tough test for the young squad. always difficult going on the road uh, but we have a job to do uh, we have to you know learn what it takes and what we need to do to be successful on the road uh, we feel it's going to be a, a hard fought series uh, I like the way a lot of our players are playing and we're looking forward to the trip to Denver and that team went to the NCAA tournament in Denver last year. Michigan Tech senior forward Ali Haidar was named to the Division II preseason Super 16 team. He was named GLIAC Player of the Year last season after ranking 38th in the nation and scoring with 19.1 points per game in the 2011-12 season. He currently ranks 15th in school history with 1,272 points. And we stay with Michigan Tech. Former Michigan Tech football player Drew Vanderlyn was released from the Green Bay Packers squad after spending just one week with the team. Vanderlyn took part in the Packers rookie orientation camp last May after graduating from Tech with a degree in exercise science last December. The 6'3", 288-pound defensive end finished his coll collegiate career second on Tech's all-time sacks chart with 20. He was a two-time all-GLIAC first-team selection. And for more on the Tigers and their loss tonight, UpperMichiganSource.com. Well, hopefully they just forget about game one and kind of pull things together for game two. Boy. Just lots of offense for this uh, Giants team. All they've been doing is the past three games, eight runs or more. Yeah, I didn't think it would be that lopsided with Verlander on the mound, but uh, exactly. it didn't work out to be that way. He kept throwing fastballs down the middle. All right. Thanks, Donnie. Well, just ahead tonight, the Keweenaw Symphony Orchestra is embarking on a tour of the UP. We'll have the story when we come back.